On there guys, good evening. It is the Earth Master here along with my beautiful co-host, Missy Mimi's. How's it going guys? We are hanging out here uh, on the live stream. Gonna do an update video on this Christmas day, December 25th, 2021. About 7.05 p.m. California time and the latest quake, a 4.1 earthquake. Down here in the Middle America Trench, it looks like. Let's go ahead and look at some specific details of this earthquake activity just occurring. Uh, kind of seeing a uh, return of movement coming back to the North American plate region over the day. Over the last 24 hours, we've seen a swarm of activity into the Fiji Islands and areas to the west, Indonesia, uh, just south of the Philippines as well, getting in on quite a bit of deep earthquake activity. Uh, I think all this movement here has contributed to the decline in earthquake activity over here along the North American Plate and the Pacific Plate boundary here, also better known as the Cascadia Subduction Zone, Northern California region. Uh, still only showing a 4.0 and a 3.3 in this region. I, I strongly believe there is some earthquake activity that is not being generated on the map, but it is what it is. We'll go with the flow for right now, but obviously quite a bit of movement taking place here on the Western uh, Pacific Ring of Fire and areas around the uh, Philippine Plate. Let's go ahead and check out some specifics of this earthquake activity around the Fiji Islands area where we've seen a 629 kilometer deep 4.6. Wow, that's deep. It is. Since then, we've had uh, a little bit of surface adjustment around the Tonga area with a 5.9 at 8.6 kilometers, uh, but also some further movement afterwards there uh, to the south. The Kermadec Trench looks very quiet, at least towards the New Zealand area. Um, up here around the Vanuatu area, looks like a little bit of movement here uh, that did strike in this area earlier, a 5.0. Even so, this one's pretty deep as well, 217 kilometers. Wow. Uh, just a whole lot of deep movement. I strongly, strongly believe, see if I can keep my voice this, this time around. It's getting better, but it's not completely there. Uh, I strongly believe, though, a lot of earthquake activity here along the western part uh, uh, tends to spell quiet, tends to uh, create quiet conditions here along the west coast. But... Um, I don't think we're out of the woods here. Just a lot of deep earthquake activity uh, over the last 24 hours. We'll see if that uh, see if that pressure returns to the North American plate here tonight. Kind of looks like it is, uh, at least down there in the middle of America Trench. We'll see. Moving on, uh, Philippines. We did have that 5.4 uh, south of the Philippines and in the Indonesia area. Is that Tobelo or Tobelo? How would you pronounce that? Where? Oh, there it is. Uh I'm guessing Tobelo. Tobelo. Tobelo, Indonesia, 51.1 kilometers for that earthquake. And a bunch of earthquakes around the Banda, Banda Sea as well. Uh, if, if, I do, if I do pronounce something wrong, please correct me, okay? <laughs> if you miss it, I guarantee you my viewers will correct me. That's a given. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a couple knocks on the, on the noggin to uh, get it into my brain or my vocabulary, especially when I'm not feeling all that great mm. so movement uh up around the uh looks like pakistan area as well 4.6 kicking up uh way early this morning and also throughout the indian indian ocean the mid indian ridge seen a little bit of earthquake activity of 5.1 from to the north and then to the south and to the southwest as well uh this one here five point this one 5.4 that one was that looks like that one occurred way earlier this morning this one was a little bit uh, sooner a little bit more recent i should say so uh, definitely some migration of quakes pressure uh, out here towards the west i uh, can't say for certain though if it's returned to this area it almost seems like we just have a west or a east to west pressure movement right yeah on this map uh for the most part everywhere except for uh this region right here in the japan region Although that one is really deep up there. What do we got here? 126 kilometers. Uh, that's about the only one we've seen here in the Kuril Kamchaka Trench. In a while. Over the last 24 hours, too. Uh, so, not a big deal, but definitely some deeper movement. Uh, of course, deeper activity contributing to strain along the subduction zone. I believe this here is one of the uh, highest areas of... Uh, actually, the Perucelli Trench, I believe, is the uh, 
was one of the main, main accumulators of yeah. some of some uh, subduction zone stress. <clears throat> Uh, so let's see what else we got here. South Sandwich, South Sandwich Islands. <laughs> see if I can spit that out. 4.9 at uh, 39.3 kilometers into that subduction zone. We have seen a swarm of earthquake activity there as well, including, uh, looks like we had almost a five point, uh, or at least almost a six pointer uh, a couple days ago. And then, uh, indeed a six pointer, pretty shallow earthquake there for that one. This other one, uh, somewhat deep into the subduction zone. Uh, so that is continuing. We'll see what happens in the effect of the South America and the North American plate. I think it could could return uh, here very soon. Fruchelli Trench did have a 4.5 near the Bolivia area, one 165.7 kilometers, pretty deep movement in that area. And uh, what else we got here? A little south there, uh, like right. What is that? South Pacific. Yeah, South Pacific, Antarctic. Pacific Antarctic Ridge, 5.3, shallow. Yeah, it's standard for the uh, rift type zone out there, 10 yeah. kilometers. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the states. Uh, this is what kind of puzzles me because there's nothing. Yeah. Nothing going on anywhere in the states on the all magnitude map. That's just unheard of. Looking at the map, it's just, where's all the uh, activity in Oklahoma and Texas? Nothing in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's See, looking just... It's <laughs> it looks extremely bleak, but the, the thing is, it's like, that I'm they wondering if they... Aren't, they're not reporting. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like they are. It looks like they turned it off for the weekend. Hey, guys, anything in the United States? Let's just go ahead and uh, turn it off. Jeez. Hawaii, some movement out there around the Loihi Sea Mountain once again. Uh, over the last 24 hours, looks like a 3.9 from last night, and a 2.9 um, shortly thereafter. Southeast flank, seeing some movement as well. Uh, nothing uh, out of the ordinary at the moment. They're on the Big Island. Uh, Alaska region getting in on some activity as well. A little bit of movement, uh, nothing significant at the moment. But uh, I, just, I just find it extremely odd. It almost looks like they stopped reporting any activity in the United States. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map here. Looks pretty... Uh, What's that word you use? Bleak as well in this mean, region. Uh, Yellowstone, you mean? You said tremor map. Oh, Yellowstone. Well, Yellowstone map. Did I say tremor? <laughs> yeah, I was, okay. like, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> it's been a long, fun week, especially when you're sick. <laughs> when you're sick, the kids sure. were sick and whatnot, so kind of recovering from that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is what it is. We'll continue to move on. Nothing really going on here at the Yellowstone map. Looking pretty uh, absent of activity. The trimmer map in the Cascadia remains the same as well. Nothing. Zero epicenters. And that's a pretty good stretch of uh, nothingness, so to speak. So it's just kind of a kind of a waiting game to see uh, see what takes place here. I just think there's a lot not being reported on the map. Let's check out the solar weather activity. Of course, the sun kind of waking up. Crackling with some, uh, looks like some low-class sea flares. Nothing significant. Still 80% uh, chance. It looks like they dropped the X flare down to 1. Uh, looks like maybe potentially the dynamics of these sunspots not uh, capable of producing anything significant other than maybe a C or a, uh, uh, possibly a uh, M flare. <clears throat> That's funny. What did we get? As soon as we started talking about the not having anything in the U S now a 1.8 in Santa Cruz Island, 1.8 1. in Santa Cruz Island. Yep. It's gotta be this one way down yep. here. Huh? Just came in a little microquake down there in the Santa Barbara channel. Funny, uh, funny. I think they're right. 1.0, 1.0 for the uh, kilometers, pretty shallow earthquake in this region. We'll it looks just, like we'll just, they're just giving us one to make it look like they're doing one something. little earthquake. Unless it is extraordinarily quiet, yeah, which I don't, which, I just don't see that too often. But if that is the case, then hmm, what could that mean? If it's just nothing. Completely dead. Yeah. Well, major strain. Over up. here potentially. Yeah. But I guess we will see. Uh, night's not over yet. We will see what happens, folks. So back to the sunspot activity. 
kind of dwindling down when it comes to the potential for a for an upper class flare. Looks like 15% chance of an M flare. Uh, although the sun's sun's uh, still got quite a few spots on it. The sun spots looks like the dynamics right there are not specifically designed or set up for some uh, major flaring. But as always, that could change uh, at any time. The three-day geomagnetic forecast looks pretty calm at the moment. A little bit of heightened activity towards the 28th. And uh, that uh, looks about it. A little bit of movement tonight. Or at least uh, the aurora looks a little heightened for activity. Other than that, uh, I think that's about it. We did see Santa Claus last night, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got here? Was this earthquake here on the map? Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, there's the uh, 4.1. Other than that, folks, hope everyone enjoyed their day. Uh, we're going to kick back and relax a little bit, enjoy some quiet time. There's nothing wrong with having some peace and quiet, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Right? During <laughs> the holiday a, seasons. Having, having a little break, too. It's pretty stressful in the holiday seasons, and uh, more so when you're sick or ill. It's uh, <coughs> it, it takes its drain on you. But uh, I'm getting better. Still taking some medicine, and... Uh, We'll get better from there. Yeah, we're uh, waiting on possibly. We're forecasted for some snow in our area next week. Yeah, the weather is going to be turning very cold here for the uh, Pacific Northwest and Northern California area. The temperatures, at least for us, barely getting out of the 30s in the daytime. And yeah. for the uh, Sacramento Valley, that's kind of unheard of. Yeah. <coughs> so, excuse me. I better go before I completely lose my voice. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right, guys, have a great night. Stay safe, and, of course, be prepared out there. A lot of stuff going on in this crazy world, that's for sure. All right, chat with you guys later. Stay safe.